This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with an explanation of the Quick Access Toolbar, which is critical if you want to turbocharge your productivity in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And as you'll see, the Quick Access Toolbar is one of the best productivity features ever added to the Microsoft Office Suite, even though it was added back in 2007 and a lot of professionals haven't figured out how to use it yet. That's why I often call the last 10 plus years the lost decade of productivity, as it's just a rusty saw in most people's tool shed. So if you're using Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, you're going to want to put this into action immediately as it's going to help get you to happy hour. In this video, I'll show you how much fast you can be by using your Quick Access Toolbar. I'll show you what it is and where it is, how to customize it, how to import and export it, and I'll show you how to set up what I believe is the million dollar PowerPoint shortcut, which I'll show you here in just a second how fast you can be using the Quick Access Toolbar. Here in PowerPoint, I have a graphic that's not properly aligned and positioned on itself or the slide. And what I've done is from the Home tab, I've come to the Arrange dropdown and I've taken the Alignment tool and added it into the first position on my Quick Access Toolbar, which I'll show you how to do in this video, which turns it into an easy to use Alt-1 keyboard shortcut. So I can select my objects, Alt-1-V for distribute vertically, Alt-1-L for left, and everything snaps into perfect relative alignment positioning. I'm an Alt-1-B for bottom, bring this one down. I'll take my topics to the left, Alt 1 R for right, Alt 1 V for distribute vertically. The graphic's good on its own, but I'm going to control G to group it, Alt 1 C for center, Alt 1 M for middle, and that is now perfectly aligned and positioned by simply adding the alignment tool here in the first position of my Quick Access toolbar, which I'll show you exactly how to do at the end of this video. But first, let's look at what and where is the Quick Access toolbar and why is it so important. The Quick Access Toolbar, also known as simply the QAT, which just happens to be a 12 letter Scrabble word that'll let you look up that doesn't have a U. The Quick Access Toolbar, if this is your ribbon, which I covered in my other video here on YouTube, the Quick Access Toolbar is either directly below your ribbon or the command directly above your ribbon like that. The key here is that using the Alt key for PC users only, we can start a number sequence of our most frequently and hardest to reach commands, and we can dictate what their keyboard shortcut is by simply arranging arranging them properly here on the QAT. To see what this looks like in PowerPoint, you can see my quick access toolbar with all my commands and features is below the ribbon. I can change the position of the ribbon by simply clicking the downward facing arrow and select show above the ribbon. So this is where your quick access toolbar should be. It should either be above your ribbon. I recommend putting it below your ribbon, show below the ribbon. If you have the latest version of Microsoft Office, you might not see it below or above the ribbon. Now you have the option to hide. I just right click the ribbon, select hide quick access toolbar. So if you do have this situation, just right click somewhere in your ribbon and select show quick access toolbar and it will either pop up below or above your PowerPoint ribbon. Next, let's look at how to customize the quick access toolbar with your favorite commands and features to turbocharge your productivity. And the order you place these commands is going to make a big difference as that's what creates the alt driven keyboard shortcuts that works on PC versions of the Microsoft Office Suite only. So there's two different views we can use to customize the quick access toolbar. Let's first do it here in the normal view. So first off, we can add a single command to our quick access toolbar. We simply need to come find the command home tab. Let's say we want to add the reset command. I just simply right click it, select add to quick access toolbar and it's going to show up right at the end. If you've never reset a slide before, if you ever get your titles or subtitles or other content placeholders out of whack, you simply click reset to reposition them on your slide. We can also save space on our quick access toolbar by adding an entire command dropdown. For example, let's say that we want to add all of the quick style. Let me just open it first. All of the quick style formatting options to our quick access toolbar. We simply right click the command dropdown, select add to quick access toolbar, which will put all of those commands just directly there on our quick access toolbar that we can use regardless of which tab we've drilled down into. Another great use of the quick access toolbar is to add an entire command group. For example, let's say that we want from the home tab to add all of these commands here in the font group. We simply right click the font group, select add to quick access toolbar, and you'll see that all of those commands and features are now just there in a single spot on our QAT. We can also here in the normal view, right click and select remove any feature that we've added that we no longer want to have on our quick access toolbar. Now, as far as rearranging the commands and features here to create the, if I hit my go of the alt key, the alt one through whatever sequence, you simply need to click the downward facing arrow, come to more commands. This will open up the PowerPoint options dialog box specifically to the quick access toolbar options. First off, you have a drop down where you can select all the different tabs to get at any command or feature in PowerPoint. If you're trying to edit or add or customize the quick access toolbar from this view, you simply select add or you simply select remove pretty straightforward to then rearrange. So I want the alignment tool not to be in the first position. I just click it down. 
All right, in this case, I do want the alignment tool in that first position, which is the million dollar PowerPoint shortcut, which I'll help you set up in just a minute. Once you've got this all set up, simply click OK, and all of the commands and features you've set up will be arranged, and if I hit and let go of the Alt key, from one to however many commands you put on your Quick Access Toolbar. Next, let's look how to import and export a customized Quick Access Toolbar file, which will help you set your team up for success. My only warning is this only works on PC versions of the Microsoft Office Suite as of this video. So let's first look at how to export a QAT file so that after you've set it up with your commands and features in the order you want it, you can then import it for your clients and colleagues. To export my QAT file, I'm going to come to the Customize Quick Access Toolbar Options. I'm going to select More Commands, which will bring me back to this window. Here in the lower right hand corner, I have Import Export. So I'm going to first export all customizations. I'll export them to my desktop just as PowerPoint customizations. I notice it's an exported Office UI file. I'm going to click Save. I'm then going to reset all of my customizations to blank them out. Nothing appears to have happened, but if I click OK, you can see that all of the commands and features have now disappeared. To now import the QAT file on someone else's computer, you're simply going to come to the Customize Quick Access Toolbar Options, select More Commands. You're going to come to Import Export, select Import Customization File. Mine's on my desktop. I'm going to select the PowerPoint customizations.ui file. Again, it has to be done here within PowerPoint to have this work. I'll click open. I'll click yes. Nothing appears to have changed here in this window, but when I click OK, that's just a PowerPoint glitch. All of those commands and features are now on my quick access toolbar. Here are the steps for doing that, but there's two important points I want to make. First off, these QAT files must be imported from within the program they are designed for. So PowerPoint, Excel, Word, you cannot simply open these up on your desktop. It has to happen from within the programs like I just showed you. The second thing to be aware of is that a QAT file cannot be imported from inside a zipped folder. So if you send someone a zipped folder with a PowerPoint QAT file, they will not be able to access this QAT file until they extract all. So those are just two important things to remember when you're sharing a QAT file with your clients and colleagues. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up the million dollar QAT PowerPoint shortcut, which is the best PowerPoint shortcut in my humble opinion. So here in PowerPoint, let's set up the million dollar PowerPoint shortcut and then I'll demo how to use it again. So first come to the home tab, come and find the arrange dropdown and select or right click align and select add to quick access toolbar. If I hit and let go of the Alt key, you can see it's Alt 2. I want it to be Alt 1. So I'll come in, I'll hover here for a second. I'll click Customize Quick Access Toolbar. I'll select More Commands to come back to this window. I'll select the Align Objects command and just click it to the top. You just need to click it all the way to the top of whatever you have here on your QAT. I'll click OK. If I hit and let go of the Alt key, you can now see it's Alt 1. If I come to the next slide again, there's that agenda slide again so I can select my objects. I hit and let go of the Alt key. I hit the one key. I'm not holding any commands down on my keyboard. V for distribute vertically is V, so I hit V. Alt 1, L for left alignment. I'll go a little bit faster. So this one's going to go Alt 1, B for bottom. I'll click and drag to select my topics. I'll drag them. I'm often dragging to the left. Alt 1, R for right to bring them back to the right. Alt 1, V for distribute vertically. And again, I can group this and Alt 1, C for center and Alt 1, M for middle. You can see just how fast having Alt 1 for the alignment tool on your quick access toolbar is. As a quick recap, I showed you what and where the quick access toolbar is, how to customize the quick access toolbar in both views. I showed you how to import and export a QAT file, and I showed you how to set up that million dollar PowerPoint shortcut, the alignment tool, in the first position of your quick access toolbar. If you're new to our channel and want to keep up to date on our latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PDF cheat sheets or free courses to help get you to happy hour, make sure you check out the links directly below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.